Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. I just actually made this entire video, but, uh, well, uh, first off, new mic, yay, it's much better and stuff. Second off, uh, new mic didn't record, <laughs> because DX Tori had its settings completely different from what they should have been, even though I'd set them yesterday. But whoop de doo we're gonna do this again. So, um, oh man, I had so many good jokes and stuff in the last one, though. Ah, oh, it was so great. This is actually so sad. Okay, we're just gonna completely copy what I did last time, because that went actually perfectly. So, let's start off with, um... Let's just get started. Um, there was a suggestion before this one. Let me find it, and... Oh, where are the suggestions? Oh, there it is. Can you make a dwarf planet named Super Vooper? Okay, so let's make a dwarf planet named Super Vooper. I don't really get why it would be called Super Vooper if it's smaller, but I don't judge. It's fine. Let's just make it. Um, so, Super Vooper is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm 100% sure of this. And let's get started. Um, get rid of all the hydrogen. And that looks pretty good, except we're going to have to give it a little bit of water. And we are going to now melt that water. No. No, you don't want to melt? Okay, that's fine. Okay, come on. I'm not promising a specific time frame this time for it to melt because I was wrong last time and people called me out on it. Um, let's go to basic and... Wait, where's my planet painting tools? Whoa, where'd they go? What the heck? Ah, what's going on? This one has them. Oh great, thanks a lot. I can't even use you <laughs> for whatever reason. Well, uh, let's use this exoplanet, which we're going to shrink a bit. Uh, it's like very small. And because it needs to be a dwarf planet. And then we're going to get this and we're going to uh, give it some water, so let's do that. And... Is this whole thing just ice that on the top that I'm looking at? What the heck is going on? <laughs> Nothing's working this time. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, let. Oh, it was too hot. It was too hot to support the water. Okay, that makes more sense. That was really confusing, actually. Um. Okay, so let's go to its colors now. <laughs> and let's do like. Do like a purple. And we'll do like. Blackish? Yeah. Sure. Uh, and then we'll do like a red. Huh. That didn't give the uh, effect I was expecting, but I guess there's just not many um, high elevation features. Oh, on this side it looks pretty cool though. Here we go, and we will name it as requested. So, uh, how do I spell this? The O's and uh, zeros get kind of confusing after a while. Uh, oh, it's S O zero or Z if you're from like Europe. Uh, P E R 
Oh, Viper, not Vooper. That makes a lot more sense, actually. Uh, before I was questioning why it was Vooper, it doesn't really look like a Vooper class planet, actually. You know, yeah, it looks like more of a Viper on closer inspection. I have this whole... There, there's definitely rules to being a Vooper planet. Just any planet can't be a Vooper planet. It needs to be, like, accepted into Vooperhood. Sure. Okay, so we will uh, save Super Viper, and let's actually put it against the real guy. The best guy. The... Uh... Where... Where is... Uh, Spook Vooper? Spook Vooper! There we go. And we're just gonna put the still mode in. Okay, we're gonna redo that. We are going to redo that. That did not go well. And we're going to go to Super Viper and then Spook Vooper. And we're just going to turn down time a bit. Quite a bit. There we go. Now we're safe to actually watch the imminent explosion. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The moment when Super Viper goes against Spook Vooper. This is it. This is it. The extreme explosion. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then, lag. And we can hear the explosion, and we can see the explosion. Spook Vooper is taking it pretty well, actually. Um, currently it's just, oh, it kind of just spat out, a, like, giant chunks of land out of the back of itself, so maybe it's not doing too well. Um, we have, like, 85 shockwaves coming down the side. And those are all going to basically converge in one spot, so if anyone lived, like, at this spot right here, boom, dead. And, uh, things seem kind of normal, oh. Things are warming up a bit. The oceans are going away. Um, you know, at, le at least it's not all, like, melted yet. It'll be fine. Okay, it's melted. At least it isn't vaporizing. No, it isn't gonna vaporize. Okay. Um, let's go on to the next suggestion. And let's see... Do 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 explode spook vooper. Um, let's put a small twist on that actually. Let's give spook vooper a moon. What would be a fitting moon for spook vooper to be hit by rubble from this? Uh, let's do pen pineapple plan. Uh, pen because great great planet. Uh, it would be a great great moon, and we'll put it right there. And yes, it is orbiting correctly. And is it getting affected by the Roche limit? No, uh, but we are going to have to heat up Spook Vooper quite a bit. Ta-da! I mean, we are going to explode it, but it should at least be in prime condition when it's exploded, you know? There's rules about this sort of thing. You never explode someone before they're uh, in uh, prime condition. And honestly, uh, people don't really spontaneously combust either. So... If that happens, you should probably be kind of worried. And here goes Spook Vooper exploding into nothingness. It sounds like someone's banging on a door, but no, that is the explosion. <laughs> um, and now all this rubble is going to go by Pen Pineapple Pen, who is going to have to uh, dodge every single one of these pieces of debris. Um, it's kind of like a shotgun from far away. Each piece is like a pellet, and, well, it would really hurt if one hit you, but from this distance, the chances of them hitting you go down a lot. And also, gravity uh, plays a part. Pen Pineapple Plan may actually pull some of these in. Oh, uh, Pen Pi- oh! <laughs> Well, uh, the shockwave appears to have hit Pen Pineapple Pen. Oh my god, it's such a tongue twister. God. 
and um, it is actually ripping itself apart now. So it doesn't really matter that everything missed. Uh, still been pretty much destroyed completely. So sorry, Tefander. Uh, your planet is now completely destroyed. And let's look at the next suggestion. Man, we're getting through these. Terraform Earth into Mars. Oh, whoa. We're going to leave that for another video. Because terraforming takes a long time. Spike, you should make a Dare Me series. I saw it on another channel called Mr. Beast, and it's funny what people come up with. Yeah, um, I'd be really afraid of doing that for so many reasons. Uh, but uh, Iron Ghost, uh, may maybe sometime if I hit like, may maybe for like the fifty thousand uh, sub special, you know. See, for the things I really am not excited to do, I, I just put them really high up in the sub count, so, like, you guys would have to work really hard to make me actually do them. But I have a feeling that at some point, I'm just going to hit that, and then I'll be like, dang, I have to do so many terrible things now. Um, okay, let's keep looking. Funny how you predicted the election. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, from Ryan Johnson, yeah, uh, the game did actually correctly predict the election. Uh, best two out of three, equally sized planets, one named Trump, one named Hillary, and uh, Trump actually won, so this game is, uh, I'll use it for the uh, next election too. And we'll see. Uh, make a sun that's red and name it Soup Vooper. Okay, I, 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 I guess I'll make a red star in soup, soup vooper. Man, people just really like throwing vooper onto things now. It's, it's getting a little bit too far, you know. But this has to be a red star, so we're just going to, uh... That's no longer a star. Eh, that's the reddest we're going to get it, honestly. And soup, soup vooper. Uh, because nothing can be spelled normally. There we go. And the soup vooper is now very happy. Great, great soup vooper. And that suggestion was from Baby Cole, Cole, Cole Panapat. Yep, that's it. Uh, what happened to my intro? I figured people, uh, well, I looked at graphs that basically said that I lost, like, 25% of viewers during the intro. So, you know, yeah. Okay, um. Can you create a solar system with VY Canis Majoris as the main star? And you can add Spooky Pen to it. Okay, uh, spooky pen to, wait, VY Canis Majoris. Okay, we will make the ultimate solar system. Uh, VY Canis Majoris is somewhere in here. I know it is. Somewhere? Anywhere? No? Yes? Triangle? Circle? There we go. Right there. And... Dang, I have to do a new simulation. Just doing that weird thing where I'm zoomed in way too far. Here we go. Bam. And we're going to make this the greatest solar system of all time. We'll, we'll put in... Let's start with Spook Vooper. We'll put it, like, way out here. And then we'll grab... Pen, I, uh, pen pineapple pen put it out here then we'll also grab oh James why not and and the bleach planet okay so now we literally have the perfect um, solar system
And how badly is everything melting? That is the question. So Spook Booper is actually not doing too badly. It's sitting at a nice and toasty 151 degrees Celsius, which means that actually some of its water is surviving, and its atmosphere is uh, probably contributing to that extreme uh, amount of death. A uh, pen and pineapple pen has frozen. I've put in everything way too far away. Uh, but that's okay. And uh, let's go to the next one. James. James is literally an icicle sitting at negative 120 degrees. Its gases are pretty much just frozen. And um, wait, that makes him a solid. Let's just ignore our logic. Then we have Bleach Planet sitting at negative 158 degrees, which doesn't actually really look like Bleach, so we're just going to uh, change that because, heck, the Bleach Planet has to look like Bleach. There we go, and we have to also... Bam. <laughs> actually, it made more sense when it was liquid. That's real dirty bleach, though. You'd think it would be kind of bright white. Okay, well, let's go on to the next suggestion. Make a planet suitable for life, specifically bugs. Okay. Uh, let's just go to planets. Get a random rocky planet. And this is going to be the beautiful, uh, bug planet. Oh, God. That doesn't sound like a fun place to go vacation. Make it mostly land, gray, vegetation, and a few ice caps. So the ice caps will just be white on the top, right? That makes sense. There we go, white. And then color two will be like black. And then color three will be like, we'll make it like gray. A really boring gray color. And then we got to put a tiny bit of water on the bugs the bugs will be so so very happy to have all of this nice nice great water everywhere and perfecto right there that's a perfect amount of water right there and next up we do need to heat it up a little bit Let's go up to 50 degrees uh, Celsius. And look, oh, that looks like something the Gek would live on from uh, Mass Effect. Jeez, that, that's really nasty. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I have absolutely amazing planet naming abilities, so let's come up with a nice name for this. A bug planet. How about... Plugnet, because like bug the UG in planet, you know, yeah, amazing naming job, guys. I know, right? Totally, yeah. Don't worry, the names only get worse. Okay, so let's uh, go to the next suggestion. I think we're gonna leave this to be the last suggestion here. So. Uh, make Titan Earth 2.0. Okay, Titan Earth 2.0, let's do this. We have Titan 2.0 already, which means I guess Titan Earth 2.0 will be like livable version of it. And we'll make it like. Uh. Well, we'll keep it pretty much the same, actually. Just make it more livable. Because now we can change colors. And... Nope. We do need to add water. There was no water, just hiding. Okay, that's too much water. That's too little. That looks good. Okay, and now let's do the color scheme. So it has life, so we're gonna want some greens. And maybe some white. And then what are we gonna do for the main color? Oh, geez. 
Uh... Well, this kind of looks nice right here. Oh, you know what? You know what this looks like? This looks exactly like Australia. If you look at, like, the world map, this is exactly how it looks. It's, like, all orange-red. And then there's uh, just a little bit of green. And that's where people actually live, like, on the coast. But everything else is just, like, endless red desert. And, um... That, that's probably why you wouldn't want to live here, actually. Um, probably a million things trying to kill you. There's probably, like, spiders all over the green areas. Scorpions hiding out by the lakes. And, um, yeah, this is pretty much Australia. Uh, well, Australia in planet form. And, um, I guess the Great Barrier Reef could be at the pole right here. Although, sadly, the Great Barrier Reef is kind of dying slash dead because of the Australian government slightly ignoring the fact that it's dying. Um, it's a very controversial subject. Not really everyone accepts the fact that it is dying. But, um, <laughs> just have a moment of silence for the Great Barrier Reef because it, it was good. It was good while it lasted. Okay, so let's continue, and, um, why, why not be symbolic, and after we save this, just, uh, you know, just absolutely destroy it, and we will exterminate half of the things in the world that want to kill you. I, I don't mean the people. Got nothing against Australians. One of my good friends is an Australian. It's all good. It's just, it's just the bugs. And I, I heard kangaroos can actually kill you, too. I heard they can, like, kick you in the face, although... Kangaroos are awesome, so I wouldn't want to kill them. We, we've already transferred all of the cool animals off of Australia. We're just removing all of the bugs now. And after all the bugs are gone, all, all the people will come back. And that'll just be in a few thousand years. It's fine. Oh, yep. There, it, it's like a giant can of bug spray. Actually, let's name this a little bit more correctly because I've kind of changed the entire meaning of the planet now. Let's just name it Titan Earth Australia. I can't type. Yeah, there we go. That's a more uh, correct name for it. We're just going to set the temperature back again. And we're just going to save it again. Uh, actions. Save this object. Let's do it. And have we... Uh, maybe we can fit another one. I don't know. Nah, all the suggestions after this would take way too long. They're pretty complicated. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um... If you live in Australia, don't instantly dislike this video. And what else? Um, yeah, new mic. Uh, watch out for the 10,000 subscriber special. And if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Because it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and with Christmas coming, maybe it'll be a little bit generous too. Maybe. Okay, so, other than that, I think we're going to end it right here. You see, that's that's the nice thing about videos versus streams. I can actually choose when to end it, and there isn't a giant comment section going, No! Don't go! Don't end it yet! And it's been, like, two hours, and there's only, like, three people left watching it, and they're still yelling at me saying to continue. But, yeah, th this is where we're going to end it. Uh, Thank you for watching, and if you like today, you will be contributing towards the 10,000 subscriber uh, mark by helping more people find this channel. So, it's the right thing to do. Also, uh, make sure to try to tell your friends about this channel. I'm really trying to go to, uh, through some growth on it with the daily uploads, which I kind of broke for the past two days because uh, YouTube didn't upload one of my uh videos i uploaded it but then it wouldn't process it so i need to re-upload it and then i had to set up my microphone so yeah two days i think you guys can live <laughs> and that's it see you all next time